Okay, that seems appropriate. Ah, good. So I'm on Twitch, apparently. Not quite sure. Um, I'm seeing stuff there. No stats yet. Don't know if that's just what kind of thing I gotta keep an eye on or not. But let's just kind of look around here. Look around you. Look around you. So it's been kind of a weird week in terms of streaming because I have not been able to do stuff. Hello, James. Welcome. Um, I have been trying to live stream and having issues, but we seem to be okay here on Twitch, so um, I'm just going to let that go um, and just keep an eye on this from here. So that's just going to be how this works. So we're going to do some drawing tonight. It is time for drawing inward. As usual, we're going to do some drawing. Um, oops, let me get the lighting down a little bit better. Get these lights on. And let's do a little bit of drawing. So as usual, we're going to start with a few a few line reps. Just get the get the pencil moving. Get some nice lines going. Get some verticality in there. How you doing this week there, James? This is feeling good. Glad to be streaming two weeks in a row. <laughs> as silly as that sounds, it does really help to be doing this more regularly. Wow, that was a messy circle. But I'm getting some nicer ones here, some of them. There we go. Boy, those big circles are tough. This is not what I'll be doing all night, obviously. This is just a little bit of practice to get going. Some new writing material. Excellent. We're going to be doing something a little, excuse me, I'm going to be doing something a little unusual tonight. I'm going to try doing some animation. Very simple animation. Curves here. Let's get some exercise going. Do some slaloming down through all these spots. Try to get nice and nice and clean movement. There we go. Good. Okay. Yeah, drawing's tough. No, no question. All right, so I'm going to try, I have a little project here. Let me pull up, uh, yeah, I'm going to pull that up and then expand that a little bit, actually. Oops, what's that doing? There we go. So let's look at this and try to copy that. I'm actually going to do a little blinking animation here uh, with Alice here. And just using a simple little fact, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this so you can see that a little better. Okay. So I'm just going to draw basically a face, and then we're going to draw the eyes separately in multiple different sort of spots. And we're going to see how this works out. So first off, I need my face. So we are going to, do I have, no, okay. This is not perforated. So I'm actually gonna start, well, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and start with the the cheeks. It's gonna come down like this a little bit. Wow, I'm having tr trouble with that. Okay, um, cheeks should not come down, should not come in quite that much. So what I'm gonna do, that's gonna be a lot easier. All right, let's, Let's not try to have our hand sort of 
on top of something. Um, so we're going to come in a little bit on the cheeks and then do our curve for the chin. Then we will throw in and definitely let me know if this is visible. Um, and then this is going to be her eyes here, basically. But we're not going to draw the eyes. We're going to give her, I kind of like that saucy smile. Uh, then we need her her hair. Again, we'll kind of fix post-process. Well, this is actually part of her, that's right, this is part of her hair there. And this comes around like this. So there's her hair. What happened to her ears? I forgot to do her ears. So we'll give her ears like that, roughly. And then her hair will come down like this, not like that. We'll give her a neck. And let's go ahead and do that. We'll give her just some simple hair. Okay, that works. Um, and that's pretty much it for for her. I think I've actually got this head pretty good. It's about it's pretty pretty close to the uh, to what I'd had before. Um, so that's cool. So now we will try the next thing, which is. I'm going to layer this on top, see if we can see through it. We kind of can't. Well, I can a little bit. I don't think you can see that at all. So what I'm going to do is, first off, let me grab some scissors and cut off this stuff. Because that's just going to mess us up. So we'll cut off the sides. Again, there's no perforation here. Another piece of paper here, and obviously we'll have to um, match this based on you know, these edges, not this cut edge. Having some focus issues again. Sometimes it gets unfocused. We'll fix it. There we are. In fact, let's just go ahead and fix that focus for now. Okay. So I need to ink this first off. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll do a five. I'm just gonna go ahead and follow those lines. That's pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, down. It is very hard for me to not wiggle this line. That's something I'd definitely like to know how to how to improve upon. I'm gonna go ahead and no no learning that lesson. And we'll do this and this. But right, this and this and this and this. There's her hair there. Um, and we'll go ahead and do her cheek. Gosh, I just have to be a lot more careful with that line. And do that curve gently. Too terrible. Um, her ears need to come down. Yeah. Get those ears way too high before. Okay. And give her her hair. Go down like this. And down to 
here. Go ahead and do that. Uh -huh, yeah. Can live with this. And then give her that. And then we'll finish off those two lines for the hair. All right. So there's the basic. Oh, and of course, you gotta give her a smile. Um, yeah, I think I'll go down one. one position here instead of the 0.5 we'll go with 0.3 for the smile see what that does that's kind of nice all right I wonder if let me go grab a tissue just to blot this So let's see here. I wonder if I can kind of if I just blot this with a a tissue if that's gonna get up any excess ink. I don't see any on there. That's good. Okay. So now we put this on here. And that's held pretty well. I should probably hold this. Ooh, I have something. Hold on, hold on again. Stand by. So this is mounting putty, which you use to affix things to walls, temporarily. And I'm wondering if I can use some here. If I just do this, will that just keep that in place while I work on these eyes? Kind of. Yeah, it seems to work pretty well. I think I need a fair amount of this stuff. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see here. Let's just... Okay. Cool. I think that's going to stick pretty well. All right, so I, now we can see, I hope you can see slightly, kind of, sort of, the, there's the top of her head all around. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the the eyes open. Actually, I should do the eyebrows. I'll, do the, I'll add the eyebrows here in a minute. Um, so we want the top of the eyes here and here. And then the bottoms around here, I think. And then we'll give her yeah, it's gonna be roughly the right size and shape. We'll adjust that in a minute. Um uh, and then, actually, that's kind of a nice expression there. But I might make that more like, yeah. I'm not a f huge fan of the eyes at this point. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong here. I think I've made the bottom of those a bit too, a bit too big. Try that. Um, no. What am I doing wrong on the eyes? Um, I need a bit more of a curve to the eyes. Let's try that. All these things matter. You wouldn't think they do, but they do. That's better. That's definitely better. It needs more of a curve. Um, 
Yeah, that's, that's about right. Um, okay, so I think, so like I said, we'll, we'll add the eyebrows to the back. But for now, let's go ahead and ink in the eyes. And we're going to go with the smaller, I think. Um, so let me do... That there, that there, trying to curve in that eye a little bit more, get a little more ovoid. Okay. Curve this around very carefully. And my hand is shaking like a leaf, like a leaf on the wind. But I think I'll get there. Okay. Uh, might make that a little darker. Yeah, I think I like the idea of a darker, darker line for above. So I'm basically going to draw. Um, several different eyes, um, you know, eyes open and closing, so forth and so on. Um, and we're going to scan all those in and then do a little animation. Not all tonight, but that's kind of the idea. Um, then we need uh, the center of the eye. How big? That's pretty big. Went pretty big on that before. So let's go ahead and go pretty big on that now. Oh, that's pretty big. A little white hair on the tip there. Uh, and then we always add the reflection. Whoa! Come on, you. That sucks. There's the reflection. That definitely humanizes her a little bit. She also needs the little lines to the side. Little eyelashes there. Okay, cool. So, we have this. Now, we go in. Definitely getting up some spare ink. Glad I did that. And then let's go in and we will daub that again. Daub that. Yeah, still a little bit of a little bit of ink got off there. Okay. I think that thing that's okay. So now we do another page where the eyes are closing. Here. We're going to layer this on top of those two so we can kind of look down and see from there through to the eyes below. The eyes below. That'd be a good name for a TV show or something. Um, so when the eyes close, I want them to blink. Um, one thing I've noticed is that the eyes don't necessarily come all the way down. Like, you know, when the lashes come down, they're maybe like three quarters of the way down. Not, it's not like it goes from up here all the way down to there. So I want this to come down and you also have to con consider, um, kind of the speed at which things go. So... I'm, I'm trying to decide whether I want to do just half mast and closed and then half mast and open, if that's going to make sense. Or if I want to do, um, like if it should be just exactly half mast, it should be a little bit lower, a little bit higher as, to, as they're closing. I think it needs to be down further 
Um, yeah, so we're going to do this. We're going to have the eyes, the lashes come down to he here, roughly. And then bring the bottom of the eyes up slightly, because those are basically the, the, you know, the, the lower eyelids. Um, although I think maybe I don't want the curve quite that much. Let's ease back on the curve, make this a very slight curve on the eyelashes. Yeah. And then just show kind of the under, the very underside of those eyes. It's a little bit of the, of that. Um, and let's see what that looks like. Uh, where are my pens? Okay. So this is going to be, again, very, whoa. Is this a 0.5? No, it's a 0.3. Eh, okay. It's just very dark. I may have to clean that up in post. Okay. And then, again, we're going to just go very lightly across here for that. It is a bit of a curve. Kind of thicken up that line. It's just experimentation. I don't know if this is going to work or not. And then, actually, um, are we still going to see the, the eyelashes at this point? Probably not. Um, we'll keep the eyelashes not as visible. Let's darken this up a bit more. See where this goes. Okay. And then we need, of course, the eye. And a little bit of the bottom. A little bit just showing the bottom of that pupil. Okay. And then we'll have the eyes closed. This is curious. Oh, we got a So there's an interesting question about whether yeah, 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 okay. where those lines, how those lines should look, because anime is very stylized, right? Like it's not going to look exactly like reality. So let's do this, put that on top. Fix that in place. That'll do. Um, and then we just we're just gonna have that line come like here, I think. Maybe a little yeah. Yeah, let's try that. those curves wrong, but okay. That's better. And this should be a little more curved out. Okay, I think we can we can fix this. We can get it right. Okay, that seems okay. Um would we see the eyelash? I think we would. So we're gonna see the eyelashes here. Yep, that looks good. That's fine. All right. So, this is our little animation. Uh, let's go back and clean up and we'll add our eyebrows as well. In fact, let's go back here, and we'll figure out where those eyebrows belong. Um, so those eyebrows are 
could be heavier, it could be five. So we put them up here about halfway up. I'm going to just do it in ink. I know that's a little, a little dangerous, but I know where I want it to go, so I'm not too, too concerned. There we go. Okay. So there are the eyebrows. That's fine. Nothing too crazy there. Let me grab this. Daub out any excess ink. I think we're good there. Moment of truth. Okay, so oh, and I should I should be uh, marking these. This is um, a one, a two, a three. And a four. Okay, so we have some idea of which one's which. All right, so let's go back and um, erase. Again, this should be completely dry. The ink should be. So I should be able to do that. Just get all that up. Man, having some slight problems holding on to this. Yeah, there we go. A lot of engines revving out there in the night. Okay, so there's our background all cleaned up. That looks fine. Here's a one. Or here's a two, rather. Here is the eyes open and normal. And like I said, I'll probably end up having to clean up this. There's a little bit of, uh, of extra marks in the eyes that I'll have to clean up a little bit in, in post. But that's okay. And here they are closing. I think, looking at this, I do want... Yeah. I want a little bit of the eyelashes on there. Looks awfully sleepy, doesn't it? Good. And that is, sure enough, daubing that does clean off all of the, the, the issues. And yeah, see, the this line's way thicker than this line. So I'm going to have to do something there to fix that. And then we'll just clean up any extra lines we had there. OK, so basically what we're going to do, and again, not right now. I will do this off stream because it would take, it's just very tedious to watch me scan in images. Um, but basically, I will scan this in. I will layer this over top of it, and then I will switch over to this, and switch over to this, and switch over to this, and switch over to this to show her blinking. And we'll just create a little, I'll create a little animation out of that, and we'll see what it looks like. So cool, we've done a little drawing. Um, so we're going to call this, I'm actually going to ink that, Alice Animation. was on 12 June 2018. All right, so these will all get placed into into that. So that'll be fun to see what, how that animation turns out. And like I said, I will go ahead and uh, upload that. I'll probably put it like, I'll see if I can do like an animated GIF uh, and throw that up on uh, on DeviantArt or something. Does DeviantArt do animated GIFs? You'd think they'd, they would. But anyway, so this is this looks nice. I'm, I'm quite pleased with how this turns out. Uh, we'll see if I if I can hold this up. Actually, let's do it this way. So I'm going to copy this, hold it up, see if you can see those eyes. Just barely, you can see the eyes through the uh, thing. Maybe it's the other, other way around. You can see that a little better. You can see a little bit of her head through there. Yeah, that'll be how that works. So yeah, that's fun. That was a good experiment. Uh, so like I said, we'll see how this, that turns out. Excuse me. Ah, so a quick stream tonight just to 
try that out and experiment. I was going to try to do some... Uh, oh, I mentioned the comic. I, I was going to do the comic. Okay, no, 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 no. Um, so let me play around a little bit with some of the comic ideas. That that was not that I I promised I would I would try to work on the comic this week. So let me let me do that. We will zoom back out. You have to see what I'm looking at here, what I'm drawing on. Um, oop. Actually, we'll zoom in a little bit. Whoa, that's uh, still. One second. I'm going to have to zoom all the way out again. Why won't that zoom? Hmm, weird. Okay. All right. So I wanted to do some, some more playing around with the comic. Um, so where were we with the Alice and Francis camping comic? We introduced them. They're out in the wilderness. Uh, we now know that Alice has brought along all of her books. Uh, we should probably do a thing with Alice trying to read and Francis annoying her. So let's see here. Um, do, do I have um, comic? Uh, I know I had some notes I wrote to myself about this. Let's see where I can find those. Where did I put those? Because I can't really do a comic if I don't know what I'm writing about. Try there. See if I can pull up the, see if it's over here in these documents. Do, 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 do. Uh, pretty sure I am signed in. Uh, go to documents. There we go. Um, nope, it's not here. Is it over here? Archaeology. No, there's not. Huh, so I had some notes to myself about some humor situations for the two of them. Um, do you know what? Instead of doing that, I'm just going to do some prep. Like, I think it's not a bad idea to say, okay, we, we can't do that. Let's try some stuff. So this is 30, so we wanted to do, uh, let's do 12 centimeters per. down to 26 and then this is 18 so let's do maybe 8 centimeters and then uh, yeah, 8 centimeters there give that a try as a place to start eight. I have no idea what the you know quote unquote correct ways are of doing all this stuff, but I figure I'll try something. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put in any of these panels, but I figure let's just try something. These will be uneven too, I'm sure. Very uneven. Oh well. We'll have something drawn. I think the important thing here, for me at least, is progress. I think if I don't do anything here, I will feel like I haven't done anything. Um, and uh, I won't move forward, won't really do anything. So, okay, there's that um, uh, comic number two. So let's see here, we need some progression, we need some idea of, um, so Alice, so set, set up Alice's reading, um, 
maybe make use of that drawing I had of her. You know, reading. Um, and then Francis needs to bug her about something. She probably doesn't want to do anything, and he does. Maybe we'll make it a, a reveal that he's saying something out of here, you know. Alice, you know, you should join me. And she's going, we'll do basically the same position. She'll go, you know, I can't think of anything worse. And have sort of an eye roll. Um, then, and so the reveal is he's coming up, you know, covered in mud and a complete mess, like a like pig pen. Um, you know, it's fun. And then she's just kind of like flat no. Uh, we'll have to figure out some ways of varying all this, and then we'll just cut to him going. To, you know, we'll sort of pan over to him, you know, just caked in mud. Now, what's her problem? And we'll add, you know, there'll be a like a crab on him. Um, you know, a fish in his pocket. Just kind of make that as silly as possible. Um, okay, I like that idea. I'm not really... I don't think I'm going to actually draw this, but I think that's a, that's a good start. I need to do a bit more practice on her and her positioning. I need to grab some more reference. This is a good start, I think, um, and a good place to end. for A good place to start on the comic, good place to end on the stream. So next week, I think, we'll go ahead and... Uh, draw this out and try to do a, a full comic next week. But we have a and you know, we have an idea. I've got to actually think a little bit about the composition here. If you got a way to make this more interesting than just you know drawing a ballast, drawing a ballast, drawing a ballast, reveal of Francis. There needs to be some variation here to make this a little more clear. Maybe we we uh, zoom it on her face here. We'll see. All right, that is drawing inward. That is some some practice. We got some some drawing done, and uh, we'll see where we are next week. So thank you all very much for joining me. See you then.